Guys, I don't have my ring. Yeah, no, it's not even in my house anywhere. It is not with me. Um, I kind of left it with this certain someone named Elder Kessler. Yes, Elder Kessler has my ring. Why? <laughs> Maybe I'll tell you at the end. <laughs> but all you need to know is I don't have this ring, you guys. <laughs> like, my engagement ring is gone. I just have a wedding band right now. It's gone. If you guys are especially in Utah and you're getting married, come to me because I am going through this whole process and I'm going to take you step by step as I do all of these fun wedding things which can be kind of stressful but it doesn't have to be. It does not. So if you guys are looking for good vendors, I've got a list of who I have as of right now. And I kind of want to share where I've got. We finally got a venue. We've got a date. We've got that set. So we're getting married. The ceremony is happening at the Provo City Center Temple. Holy cow, it's gorgeous. And the reception is going to be at Wobbly Farms. It's this amazing vineyard, and it's got three different reception venues. But the one I'm going to be in is called The Castle. You guys, it's like a literal castle. Like Beauty and the Beast status. Two staircases coming down fireplace right in the middle. It's so cool. Oh, like giant doors that open up. Literally, I feel like I'm gonna eat bell or something. And like, you know, for example, I've been practicing. Yeah, so I'm pretty much Disney princess. You know, Loki, whatever. It looks so pretty in the winter too. Cause not every place looks great in the winter. Like a lot of places in Utah look really good in the spring and I initially wanted a spring wedding but I was like, that's a long ways away and I don't think I wanna wait that long. So there's this girl in my junior high forever ago that we like did this choir thing together and like some plays and then like years later she was like, you model and I take photos and I was like, dude, let's hook up again. Hey, um, I'm engaged, like, can you do my engagements? We get the engagements done and holy crap, they're amazing. We went up into the mountains, like Squaw Peak area-ish and like the secret kind of place. The leaves were perfect. It was autumn-y, it was amazing, and it was beautiful. And I just got to stand there and kiss my future husband and have people take pictures. It was great. So this girl, I don't know if I mentioned, her name's Joelle. Um, and her Instagram handle, it's confusing because she got married too, so I'm confused with the name. But her Instagram, like her business photography one, is Joelle Kate Photography. And I worked with her multiple times. She's the bomb.com. If y'all looking for engagements or for weddings or for whatevers, go to Joelle. I freaking love her. I'm also thinking of maybe having a coconut bra wedding dress because my family decided, oh, we're gonna go to Hawaii after Christmas, wanna come? And I was like, yeah, can I bring my fiance? And they were like, yes. And I was like, also, can I get my bridles done there? And maybe a first look or something? And they were like, yes. I went to all these bridal shops and I tried on dresses. After dress, and another dress, and this dress, and this style of dress, and this color, and this, and this, and this, and literally I was like, okay, there are a lot of great dresses, but none of them are it. Like. Yeah, they'd be like great for an event, but like none of them are my wedding dress. And you know, it's like you can do alterations, you can do this and this, but then I was like, you know what? Maybe, what if I get something custom instead? So I started looking into custom. I found Boda Bridal, Boda Bridal, B-O-D-A. And I met with them. I told them my ideas. They totally got what I meant. And we started making my dress from there. Like, it's not finished yet, but you guys, with how this is gonna turn out, I am so excited. It's gonna be one of a kind. It's amazing. People can say it's just a dress, but this is like the one time you're gonna have this. Destry there who worked with me is just so fun and so cute. And 
you know, sometimes with bridal shops, you have different experiences and you never know like how the assistant's gonna be, but like Destry was amazing. So I have literally no complaints. I am so excited for you guys to see the first look. And I'm so excited for Justin to see the dress because let me tell you, it's gonna look good, okay? But also my husband's gonna look pretty dang good because we are getting the suits also custom from H.M. Cole. This as well, like, it's just like so hard picking because, you know, there's so many cool vendors and companies and photographers and a lot of talent, but like you have to find the one that's right for you. And meeting with H.M. Cole, I was like, we were looking at the different fabrics and the different options they had and like the different things we could do with the groomsmen to make it unique but personal and I was like this is it this is like we knew when we met with them that we were going with H.M. Cool and you guys my husband is a good-looking man but like a good-looking man in a good-looking suit there is nothing more sexy can I say that word than a guy in a well-fitted suit. Okay, like, comment down below if you agree with me on this, that like, I don't know, like I think the most attractive thing for a guy to wear is either like a v-neck white t-shirt with sunglasses, it's very specific, I know, like, you know, kind of like James Deany, whatever, leather jacket, or a suit. But yeah, H.M. Cool, I'm so excited for you guys to be able to see all the suits and we're gonna be doing the bridals in Hawaii so now picking a videographer and a photographer was super difficult because I do a lot of photo shoots so I'm really picky about photos and the coloring and the style and everything and not even just that there's like just so many different options that I could go with of like what coloring and what like how adventurous or how classic or Oh man, I just had the hardest time. There were so many photographers that was like, oh, I love this and I love this. And So I just got back from lunch with my friend Courtney. Um, I have a lot of wedding planning to do just before I was going through photographers. So I think I'm narrowing it down to pick. I just really gotta like pick a photographer and then I can move on onto other aspects of planning the wedding. But I'm just so freaking indecisive and there's so many talented people. I don't know what to do with myself. Um, it came down to for the wedding day, Greg Emmett. I looked at his Instagram, that was how I found him. And there's something about his photos that have a timeless feel. They have like a candid, trendy vibe, but I know it's something that I'm going to love for years to come and it's not something that I'm gonna look at in five years and be like, oh my gosh, that looks weird. Like it's something that has character, it has personality. There's something just intrinsically different about Greg Emmett's photography that I hadn't found before. And I don't know what it was, but he, he kind of really just has his own style. Um, and then for my bridals that I'm getting done in Hawaii, I'm getting them done. Another person I found through Instagram, Sunny Golden. She She's like the sweetest thing ever. We're getting them done by her. She also, the same thing with her photos, they're amazing. And she doesn't need to cover up the photo at all. It's like, I feel like she could hand me unedited photos and they would still look great. She, you know, like just the photography of itself is so high quality and high caliber that I, I don't know, like, and they're just timeless. They're timeless, but they still have a modern feel for videography. For the first look and for the wedding day, I have Ty Askarov, another Provolone, Provoian, I don't know what, how, how you say that, but he's in Provo, um, he's a videographer and I've loved watching his wedding videos, so I'm super excited to have him video both the first look, and he understands the cinematic side of wedding videos because I don't just want a video that's just like oh you know we put it on a tripod here you go I want it I want it to be like a movie almost or a music video if anything so he totally understands that and he totally understands the romance of it and the chemistry and that's the whole point right so I'm, I'm really excited y'all know everyone comes to receptions just for the food right at least I do JK I come for the people too but low-key the food is a huge incentive to drive somewhere far away Right, so I want good food at my wedding. So my caterers are gonna be State Street, Bead and Supply, and Penguin Brothers together. 
or go make something amazing. Penguin Brothers, they have these like really cool gourmet ice cream sandwiches. I am a sucker for ice cream any time of the year, especially like when you got it like in between two warm cookies. That's like the best thing. Like don't stop in winter. Have it any time of the year. That's what I think. And then State Street Feed and Supply when we have the tasting. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It was like having Thanksgiving early, which meant I was super bloated and in a food coma, but it was worth it. I gotta give a shout out for my proposal video, Luke Porter and Zion's studio photography. Luke and Rebecca, like just some of my favorite people and Luke and his wife are couple goals. They're like this young couple and they're super hip and cool. And Rebecca and her husband too. So both of them, like I just, they, they film my proposal and my proposal is literally a dream. Like, I don't think there's a better proposal out there. So they helped out my fiance, Justin, plan it all out and like get it all ready for me so that I would be proposed to and not have a clue that it was happening. And I bawled my eyes out. And the video, you guys have to watch it. Link below. Let me, comment down below if you have watched it before and what you guys think. And if you cried, you should cry. Um, because it's, I literally, like, I love watching it. Like, I low-key probably have the views are mine, because it's so cute. Do you want to know where my ring is? It's with Elder Kessler. It was called, we were on set, and we were playing characters that were not married. And so I was like, hey, hold my ring. And then I forgot to get it back from him, so it's still in his pocket. <sighs> I have to go get that, actually. He actually doesn't live far from me. You know, we Saturdays were your cast. We still tight. We still tight. I'm still trying to find a hair and makeup artist for my wedding though, so, especially one in Hawaii. So if you have any tips though, leave them down below or go on my Instagram. Comment, like, subscribe. See you guys, have a good one. No, I'm not gonna say that. Ah, and then I was like, Hey, Boda Bridal, do you want to make me a coconut dress? Actually, just scratch that. That was crap. But that's the thing with guys, they don't even have to put makeup on to like look dressed up. What the heck? Okay, okay. My wedding dress will not be made of a coconut bra, though, unfortunately. That wouldn't really fly in the temple. <laughs> Forget that.